Kind of an epic thing, you know, that was the first triple overtime game in Allen Fieldhouse history, we found out later. And you just kind of, as they say in sports, let the game come to you because we don't know what's going to happen either. You know, it's, it's live play-by-play uh, -play broadcasting, which can be exciting for all concerned. But you know, we kind of had a sense that something special would happen in that game because of the, the talent of the two teams. And the game had a lot of hype. Sometimes they don't live up to the hype, but this one did uh, in a big-time fashion. And once we got to the first overtime, it was just a, a great ride from there and kind of up and down because there would be moments when you thought, well, Kansas is going to win this game. And then before you knew it, well, it looks like Oklahoma is going to win this game. And, and back to Kansas. And it was just that way through the three overtimes. And, you know, both teams played so well. And it was, I thought, great sportsmanship at the end of the game. Buddy Heald, who was the leading scorer but played on the losing team, does a national TV interview. And a bunch of KU fans stayed and gave him a standing ovation. So it, there were unique things that happened. And it was just fun to be part of it. You know, it, it takes a little toll, but I'm not running up and down the court like the guys in the short pants are, or the officials. You know, I talked about the officials a little bit. Those guys are not in their 20s, and they're going up and down the whole game. And a lot of those guys, you know, work a lot of games every week. And so that had to take a toll on them, too, and they're trying to make decisions. But the effort that everybody put forth, particularly the players and the coaches and, and all involved, just made it uh, a heck of a thing to witness. And, I think it, nobody left. A lot of people stayed late. It was just such a unique deal and such great respect. Really, those two coaching staffs have great uh, respect for each other. And everything all combined to make it a great game. Of course, locally in Lawrence, a lot better since KU won. But, uh, you know, Oklahoma won in overtime last year down in Norman in what was a great ball game. But this was epic. This was a really special event. The KU fans are, are knowledgeable fans. They're really into college basketball, and I think they sensed early on this was something special. To, to have a player come in like, like Buddy Heald did and have that kind of a game, it was reminiscent of Randy Rutherford at Oklahoma State and Anthony Peeler's great game for Missouri in Allen Fieldhouse. Interestingly enough, Kansas won all three of those games, but those guys had spectacular off-the-chart individual performances. And, the, and, and, and Kevin Durant, when he played it, in Allen Fieldhouse with Texas had a similar ball game. So I think the fans appreciate that. They're pleased that KU won. But uh, college basketball is really special, particularly to us in this part of the country. And this was kind of a gift for everybody to be able to see a game like that. Now we have to remember this is still early January. We've had, a, had some Final Four games and national championship broadcasts and you know some other epic things. I think of the last Kansas-Missouri game probably be in that category at Allen Fieldhouse before Missouri left to go to the SEC. So, you know, it's special because of what it was and the two teams both being ranked. In fact, it was number one against number one because they reached at the top of the, of the two poles. So that doesn't happen very often. So a lot of things like that made it special plus the triple overtime. But keep in mind, early January, we'll see what happens the next two or three months.